Oh boy, there is not very much information, but I do want to share some exciting stories and news, especially how an indie author blew up on TikTok and became viral without actually being a TikToker. That was pretty cool. There's also a new audiobook publishing platform and I didn't know about it. Where have I been? And not to mention the USA Today bestseller list has actually come back. That's right, it was gone for a minute there, but now it's back. All that in today's self-publishing news for July the 17th of 2023. As I say per usual, let's just jump right on into things here. I'm gonna start it out with, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. The day has actually finally come. I'm hitting my 200th episode. My live podcasts have been recorded that many times. By the way, that's not the number of episodes I have in total because I've had so many interviews. I don't even number those ones. We're probably up in the 300s by this point. But as far as the recorded podcasts, uh, this is going to be episode 200. And I reached out to a good friend of mine in USA Today, best-selling author, Nick Thacker, to sit on down. He's also the founder of author.email. That's the email marketing services for authors specifically. And he's also one of the minds at draft to digital So Nick is a fantastic wealth of knowledge and I'm just excited to actually have him come on for the 200th episode. No, there's not going to be any gimmicks. I'm not going to be giving anything away. I'm just going to be sh sitting down with my good friend Nick, and we're going to be talking about launching a best-selling book on Amazon KDP. We're going to get some of his deep insights. Just bear in mind, the man is refreshingly honest, and if you're not used to crass language... Uh, you might want to prepare yourself because every now and then Nick will drop a couple curse words and I'm not going to stop him from doing it because it is delightful to hear him. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of great information. This is going to be on the 200th episode on August the 7th at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daytime. It will be live and we'll be answering some live question and answer directly following the interview. It might be a long one here, folks. Hey, um, by the way, did you get a chance to enter for a chance to win a professional formatting and layout design package by the fine folks over at Miblart. You can do so over at dailylinks.com slash giveaway. Get yourself entered daily. That's right, you can go daily. So go over to that link if you haven't done so yet today. If you see that it's not signed in, get yourself signed in and then enter the daily amount. I found that each person who's won recently usually does way more than say three entries. They're doing dozens of entries. So that's your competition. Make sure you get on in there. Or at least, you know, you can't win the lottery unless you buy a ticket. So at this point, just go on over. You don't need to buy anything. Just enter for a chance to win this giveaway. Formatting and layout design worth up to $460. That's nuts. That's crazy. Speaking of crazy, the fine folks over at Book Brush. I've got some news coming from them. A good friend of mine, Dana Claire, actually is going to be on the podcast channel here with an exclusive interview where we're going to be talking more about their recent um, services that they've added, including one of these that is going to be world building maps. They're actually going to be creating these things for you through their new hourly concepts service. So this is really, really neat. I've actually put a link if you want to schedule a free consult. I believe you actually be talking to Dana. If you end up talking to her, make sure that you tell her Dale sent you on over towards that direction. And there's no hard sell, by the way, folks. Don't feel like you're gonna get beat up. They're not gonna chase after you to get any kind of sales. Either you want it, you don't want it. So if you're looking to get some world building maps, you're gonna go do them there. Uh, I'm very, very much interested because I'd love to do this with my fiction horror brand that I've been working on over the past year. Uh, moving a little further forward, Book Mar Con is actually the first online virtual conference that has been put together by Book Brush that covers book marketing. That's it. You get a lot of online conferences when it comes to authors and such, and it's going to have different tracks that you're going to go after, not this one. They are laser focused and they've brought in some of the best of the best for August the 11th through the 13th. This is going to include folks like Michael Laron of Law Author Level Up and the Alliance of Independent Authors, Dana Claire from Book Brush, of course. And by the way, Dana just landed an option for one of her uh, books to become a movie. So that part is really, really cool. Evan Gower's story origin, and this is one of the ones that Dana actually told me to really highlight was Mark Gottlieb from Trident Media Group is actually going to be an agent that's going to be doing uh, some uh, manuscript audits. And they're gonna look through the first 10 pages and give you some raw feedback. That's all part of this virtual conference. So if you want more details about that, go on over to bookbrush.com slash bookmarkon. And if you use the code 
Dale 50, you'll take $50 off your ticket. So yes, this is a premium live event, but uh, I think it's going to be one that's you don't want to miss. I was invited to be part of this uh, this year's uh, cast, but since I am currently working on a lot of things, I couldn't commit to something like that. So that's why I wholeheartedly endorse this uh, online conference. All right, uh, let's go on over to the very next item up in the news for book publishing trends for 2023 as put together by the good e-reader. Uh, let's go ahead and summarize this. And by the way, all the links are going to be inside the description as per usual here, folks. Number one trend, audiobooks. I've been saying this for so long. I told you so. I told you so, right? And some of you are probably going to go, well, hang on a second, Dale. I, you know, audiobooks are super expensive. Let me just share the stats with you. With about $1.8 billion in sales of audiobooks in 2022 in the U.S., there's no doubt that the genre is likely to go consistent in 2023 too. The sales figures have grown gradually in the past few years from 0.94 billion in 2018 to 1.3 billion in 2020 and 1.6 billion in 2021. Meanwhile, as per the data of the last decade, the total audiobook titles in the country expanded to 71,000 from merely 6,000. Folks, there are millions upon millions, if not billions, probably trillions at this point. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating of eBooks out there, but there are just 71,000 audiobooks available. That means there is very little competition. So all you got to do is get yourself committed to something like this. Now, there are inexpensive ways I've shared on this broadcast before, and I'm going to be doing a full series about where to publish your audiobooks. So make sure you stay tuned to this podcast for that information. There are some cost-effective ways to get it done and some other ways that uh, some of my peers really feel is looking uh, worth looking into. For instance, I've heard a couple people express the AI narration through places like 11 Labs is something worth looking into. It's another cost-effective way to do things. Now, whether you agree with that or not, that's up to you. Number two is going to be book summary platforms. This was news to me on this one here. Book summary platforms like Headway and Binkist um, seem to be, I thought it was Blinkist, but Binkist seem to be trending among bibliophiles. The industry leaders seem to be having millions of users for their potential to encapsulate the books into brief and comprehensible summaries. Number three, self-publishing. Hooray! According to this, it says statistics from Words it says 30 to 34% of ebooks sold to readers are self-published published. How cool is that? And number four, the rise of nonfiction. My nonfiction authors out there, give me a big old flex, baby. Yeah, nonfiction is on the rise. Make sure that you join and get that piece of the pie there. This one comes from a heartwarming place. I am telling you, when I saw this, literally, I got choked up. This is amazing here. Uh, wow, this actually is on prezhilton.com, by the way. Wow, TikToker changes indie author's life as he goes from unknown to bestseller overnight. This is an author that was, uh, Sean Warner is his name, and his book was Lay Howard and the Ghosts of Simmons Pierce Manor. Um, let me go ahead and just summarize this. This TikToker and a modest following, I think like 43,000 followers or whatnot. And still, that's a very good amount. Um, had stopped and saw this author that looked fairly dejected, fairly, you know, underwhelmed because they were set up in a Kroger uh, supermarket with their books set up. Now he was, you know, just kind of sitting there. And so this TikToker was like, let me go ahead and just ask this author what they're doing. And in the video, they kind of break it down and ask, you know, how much does your book cost? Where can I get this? You can get it here at this Kroger's. You can get Barnes and Noble. It was so cool. But then you see the number of likes on this video it is absolutely insane that it had millions, millions of views. This is from TikTok. So those of you that have been holding off on TikTok, look what it did for this author. Absolutely amazing. Now, I know you're not going to be probably setting up shop over at the local Kroger's and having some TikToker that just randomly shows up and hoping that that will make you viral. It's not always going to be the case, but this just goes to show that all it takes is just one piece of information online for you to go viral and to hit your success. 
So big congrats and a big kudos to the Internet Famous LOL. That's at Internet Famous LOL. You can go ahead and take a look at their uh, options. The funny thing is this person really doesn't do too much about books. So it was pretty interesting that that actually took off so well like it did. Hey, Git Covers is right now celebrating their 20, uh, 20th birthday. <laughs> seventh birthday with 20 percent off their covers uh right now until july the 18th after july the 18th the birthday code will no longer work it's birthday 20 zero that is when you use it at my affiliate link dailylinks.com slash get covers uh they are already absolutely inexpensive and i hate to use this word because they're gonna probably beat me up for saying it but they're dirt cheap they're super cheap but they're high quality I'm hard pressed seeing many people saying, well, that looks cheap. No, that looks amazing. That looks expensive is what it looks like. All right, this one actually comes from one of our community members uh, over on Discord, Coloratura. Uh, Coloratura is a good pal, old time uh, follower of this channel. Really appreciate her reaching out to me about a new audiobook publishing platform. I'm all years. I've done a little bit of digging but I don't know too much more beyond what I've seen on their website. Their website is it's okay. It's actually called storyfair.net. Now, Storyfair Audiobooks offers 75% audiobook royalties. Yeah, and if you compare that to the low price of 25% on Audible, you can see there's a huge difference. Now, one thing I've noticed about their website is it seems a little dated, but... I get where they're going. Done is better than perfect. You might as well go ahead and get it on out here. But you got my attention because earlier this year, I had shared Findaway Voices, actually had Authors Direct available where you could make 80% of every single sale. That was the best that you could possibly get. Well, Spotify came in, bought the company, said, yeah, we're done with Authors Direct. Got rid of it. So now we're kind of back to, you know, who's going to give us scraps? So now I see that there's another audiobook publishing platform that's offering something a little bit better than the others. I'm definitely eager to check it out. And if you do end up checking it out and going with them, please reach out to me via email. And let me know how it goes. I definitely love to hear your personal experience if you have used them or plan to use them. Hey, the USA Today best selling list actually was offline for a little bit there. Uh, it actually had. They stopped doing it for a minute there, and a lot of people were freaking out. They're like, the USA Today bestselling list, it's gone. It's not coming back. It is back now, uh, and they actually, it's new and improved, and for some reason, my <laughs> my information just decided it's, it's just going to reset, uh, but after that brief hiatus, USA Today's beloved bestsellers list has returned with the features and characters that have long made it to the people's the people's book list. Now, the nice thing about the USA Today bestselling uh, list is they actually clump all publications underneath one list and instead of separate lists. And to my knowledge, USA Today isn't like New York Times where they're, they're editorial about what they're gonna pick. Mm, I'm gonna pick a little bit of this. I'm gonna pick a little bit of that. No, they're not cherry picking your stuff. Whatever's selling really good, USA Today provides it. That's that. So it's really kind of cool to see that up and running again. All right, uh, next item up in the news comes from the folks over at KDP. You should have received something in your email inbox this past week, starting July 24th. We will show the advertiser name that you have set in your advertising account on any ads shown on Amazon.France, Amazon Germany, Amazon Italy, and Amazon Spain. Uh, please check the Amazon, uh, the advertiser name you set in your ads console to ensure it's up to date with the name you would like to display to customers. So this is a heads up warning, letting you know that if you have your personal name as the vendor name, that's what's going to appear on the ads. If you've got a business name, which I highly recommend, if you can get a business name, do it. Um, that's what's going to show up. Thankfully, my uh, company name is going to show up on mine, so I didn't really have to do anything. Although, I did double check because I was like, is it going to show my name? I felt kind of weird about it. Uh, what's not weird, though, is 
the fact that Lulu is putting on another webinar. They put on these webinars on a regular basis. And by the way, we are currently working on a webinar together that's going to be coming up mid-September. Stay tuned to this podcast, and I'm going to be sharing more about building a YouTube channel for your author brand. And uh, this is going to be an exclusive talk there at Lulu. But they're going to be talking about publishing for photographers. Publishing is a wonderful opportunity for photographers to showcase their work, diversify their revenue, and make their content accessible to a wider audience. In this webinar, we will be joined by Lulu author and award-winning nature photographer photographer Jeremy uh, Janice to learn his tips and best practices for turning your favorite photos into beautiful print products your audience will love. If you plan on putting any type of images or graphics inside your books, I think it would probably behoove you to attend this particular webinar. I know I'm going to tune in because I have a lot of graphic heavy books. And so I'd love to get some insights from Jeremy and see what he's done to mitigate any type of extra expenses and putting together a high quality book while getting it to you have the best quality images possible. So uh, as we start to wrap up today's uh, podcast news segment, I want to remind you that the Get Covers premium movie poster design package is available in a giveaway. All you get to do is visit dalelinks.com slash get covers giveaway. Enter for your chance to win today. This is the last of the four giveaways with get covers. So don't miss out on this one. I cannot wait. I've got a surprise in store for the person who actually wins this. I'm not going to say it just yet, but there's going to be an additional thing I'm going to be throwing in on top of this. And you'll of course appear in an upcoming video. That's all the items in the news. What did you think about some of those items? Was there something that I might have missed? If I did, please reach out to me on our Discord community at dalelinks.com slash Discord. And you can always just at self pub with Dale and get my attention on over on the Discord. Please, no DMs. Just go directly over into the community. That's what it's built for. In the meantime, this has been Self Publishing with Dale, and I'll catch you in next week's news. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Special shout out to my channel members for both the podcast channel and the main channel. Without your support, some projects we do at Self-Publishing with Dale would be much harder to fund. If you want to contribute to the cause, visit dalelinks.com slash memberships for details and get your on-screen shout out at the end of each broadcast. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale and I'll see you soon.